Right then, so let's add the skin modifier onto this mesh. So remember that it's frozen, so we're going to need to unfreeze it to, to select it. So let's click on that and we'll click there. And then we can also go into the display modifier over here. And we can make it not see through anymore so you can actually see what's happening. That's great. So now we can just do uh, get back into the modifier. And from our drop down list, we can type this. And this again, skin. There we go. So, uh, first thing we need to add some bones. So we go down here and we can do add. Now, what this gives you is this gives you this big drop down list. Uh, and you have to click through them all individually, which is the pain. Uh, so, we're not going to do it like that. Uh, what we are going to do is um, we're going to make it a selection set. So, let's do that. So, let's hide the mesh. And we're going to drag select all these guys. And then we are going to just check what's happened. So what we're trying to avoid is we don't want these nub bones and they're all hidden and frozen, but we also don't want fingers. So let's deselect those over here. Don't want toes. Don't want fingers. Don't want other toes. Uh, there we go, that seems okay. So let's create a selection set and we'll call it biped. Ooh, biped bones. Like that. Press enter. That's our selection set. So we can get back to that like that. There we go, and that can be select them all. So now we can unhide our mesh again. And we can go add. These guys don't matter, so let's do add. And we'll choose the selection set by bed bones. That selects all those, and we can select them. And that populates that list like that, which we can just scan through. If you do make a mistake on like that, you can just remove it from the list, and then we're good. That's great. So, uh, next thing to do is uh, get some test animation in so we can just see what's happening. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm out of figure mode, so make sure that button's off. And then I'm going to load in some motion capture which I've prepared earlier. Uh, and we'll open that and let's see what happens. And you can see we've got some motion. It's a bit mashed, but it will do. Now what's quite useful is to have our first pose um, be also the same as this pose. So we're going to do that using the copy and paste functionality of um, biped. So we're going to go into figure mode and we're going to go into pose and we're going to create a collection if one's not already cr created and we're going to copy the pose and you can see that gives us a little icon like that. Uh, and then we can go out of figure mode and it's important that these buttons are on because uh, that makes sure that all the repositions are correctly placed and then we can just do checking on the first frame checking the auto key is on we can paste pose like that and that will punt our character right into the middle like that and it will snap into place um, and that will help us in our skinning process because it means we, our references will we, we stay the same. Uh, so that's all good. Now I'm just going to give you a crash course in editing some of these keys. So what I don't want is to go snap like that. I'm going to want it to um, have a bit more space. So I'm just going to delete mm, some of these frames at the beginning. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just, what I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to drag, select all of those. So, it's important that I select all the biped bones. So, we've um, creatively just made a selection set. Uh, my selection set does include the root bone, which is important when you're messing with animation like this, because you need that to be included. And we're just going to drag all of these guys, and we're going to move it over by... Hmm, let's call it 80 frames. Look at that. Now, there's a gap. Uh, let's try that again. So, we can select all the bones. It's going to widen this to make it 2000. Make sure I get everything. Okay. Drag select all these guys and then make sure that. Uh, so, what I want is that little number in brackets, which is 60 frames. So 
and then I've got a gap and I can zoom in onto this first section of here so end time is 60 frames okay and maybe a bit more there we go and I just want that first frame so okay that make sure I've got all my biped bone selected which I have and I can just drag that frame back and then we get a very slow um, ramp into the first frame which is quite useful for us then time configuration back to say 1100 and that gives us our range of motion um, with a good solid first frame for our skinning uh, which is good for us Um, so, I mean, what we can go on now to do is like to maybe isolate some of these movements, but um, let's look at some of the more fun skinning features first, we'll do that in the next video.